count them high. How was your weekend? Good? Great. Eight more days till Christmas. There, I said it. Now hopefully you didn't forget that today is Ugly Sweater Day. Show off those hideous photos in celebration this week. If you did forget, well, you still have tomorrow for Holiday Sock Day. Also, don't forget, this is the last week of school before winter break, so make sure you enjoy your time off while you can. School will be back in session on January 7th. Now, let's do a little recapping, shall we? Last Wednesday was our basketball game here, and we won! Good way to end the year, you guys. Keep it up! Don't forget, Tuesday is round two of the debate competition at the Emerald Casino at 3 p.m. Make sure to bring a pillow and snacks, just in case. Speaking of, time for another rousing debate question. Time to wake up your brains with this one. Regifting, yes or no? Honestly? Personally to me, unless you have something that hasn't been opened or used and you think that person will like it, I say no on the regifting. To me it's kind of lazy and a bit impersonal. There was no effort put into it. If you don't have the money for a gift, make one. I know it's a thought that counts, but if you're just taking a gift that you didn't want and just rewrapping it, there wasn't much thought put into it to begin with. Now, if you know for a fact that that said person wanted it and you don't and you haven't used it, then I say that's okay because they actually want it and it won't end up sitting in the back of their closet, like it probably did with you. But what do you guys think? Regifting? Yay or nay? Talk about it amongst yourselves. Now, I think it's time for some real dear Lexus notes. Although, I gotta admit, you guys surprised me. At first, I thought it was more notes from my sister. But it's sweet that you guys decided to put your notes in little holiday decorated bottles. I like that. Thank you. So let's get this started, shall we? Dear Lexus, I have a learning disability, but I've never told anyone. I was always under the impression that I shouldn't because others might think I'm not smart, but they already think I'm not smart. That or that I'm rude. I can't explain it because I have the worst time trying to explain it. It's difficult to get the words in my head out. With technology nowadays, it's almost a blessing and a curse. Texting, messaging gives me a chance to put my thoughts together before I message back. At the same time, I get anxiety from what they say back because I'm reading it and hearing it differently than what they mean. I know if I told this to anyone, they'd just say, well, everyone can misinterpret a message from someone. It's about the same as when I ask someone to explain something again and they give me that look of, what part of what I just said doesn't make sense to you? Or they just look annoyed. I'm tired of feeling like an idiot when I ask them to repeat themselves or to explain it again or saying that I'm not listening to them or that what I say doesn't make sense. How can I possibly explain what this is without them deciding that I'm an idiot or just as bad pitying me because I have a disability? Signed, Hear Me Out. Well, Hear Me Out, I think you kind of did. A learning disability is rough. 
It's not something that is obvious to people, and they assume the worst. I know what you just said isn't everything that there is to it. I can assume which one it is from what you just said, but I think in order to really explain what it is, why not do the research so you can point your friends to said information to help them understand what it is and what it can be like. It might even help you be able to explain it yourself because it can help put those words together in more understandable sentences and can help them understand you. Also, talk it out to how they make you feel. Tell them that it hurts you when they talk or look at you as such. You're not an idiot. You learn differently. You hear things differently and you just want them to understand you better. I'm not sure how much of a help that was, but I hope in some way it did. If you need to talk to someone, we do have a school therapist here. She's interesting. For a demoness, that is. But she is good at what she does. I hope that helps. Okay, next! Dear Lexis, I think you answered this one before, but I wanted to see. Do you have only one or two kids? I was here last year, and I swear you said one. But a friend said she follows you on social media and says you have twins. Could you confirm this for me? Signed, one or two. Well, one, I think I answered something similar to it last year. I believe I said I do have a kid, but your friend is right. I have twins, twin boys. They are so adorable. They're four now and just the tiny loves of my life, along with my honey, of course. Hope that helps. Okay, next. Dear Lexus, does your kids know about Santa Claus yet? And if so, how do you feel about when the time comes you might have to tell them Santa isn't real? Signed, I believe. Well, believe? Of course my boys know. They're so excited for his arrival. And what do you mean Santa isn't real? Of course he's real. Just because you can't see him, doesn't mean he isn't there. But, I will humor you. If Santa wasn't real, and if it came to it, I would feel okay. Because I wouldn't tell them Santa isn't real. I'd tell them that they get to be Santa's helpers. That he delivers the presents, and us parents and older siblings Help him out by getting the presents set up under the tree, so he could get to the next house. After all, kids are being born every day. At some point, even Santa needs help. Now to me, that keeps the fun of Christmas with them till they're adults and they realize that Santa is real, but now they have children, they could do the same thing. That is if Santa wasn't real. But he is, so moving on. <laughs> I think I'm done with Dear Lexus for today. Now, it's time to go through the lost and found box and see what was found. Hmm. So here's a candy cane in the shape of something phallic. Someone has a dirty mind here. Oh, granted, I'm sure 90% of the school has a dirty mind. But still, kind of ballsy to bring this to school with you. And there's a sticker on it. It's cream sickle flavored. Insert dirty joke here. Anyway, let's see what else is here. Hmm, a small blue bottle. No label. Well, let's see if there's anything inside. Oh! Well, looks like snow. It's snowing in the office now. Oops. 
Sorry, Principal McAdam. Didn't know it was a magic bottle. I gotta close now, and I'll call for janitor to come clean it up when I'm done with the announcements. And lastly, a gift! And it's addressed to me! Hmm... Wonder what it is. Considering some of the things I've been getting from this box, I'm not sure. I'll open it, but cautiously. Oh! It's a little snow globe that plays music with a Christmas tree in it. I love it! And there's a note. Dear Lexus, that's me! <laughs> it's been a rough year, I know. I saw this and it made me think of you. Merry Christmas and see you over at the house. Aww, it's from Principal McAdam. Aww. Thank you, Cat. I appreciate that you did this, and you made sure I'd see it. Thank you. It means a lot. And I think that's it for the Lost and Found. And now for today's lunch special. Hot ham and cheese sandwiches with tomato soup. Yummy. Something warm inside for this time of year along with the sweets that are being sold during lunch and the basics. So let's end today's announcements with a thoughtful quote. I don't think Christmas is necessarily about things. It's about being good to one another. I think that's with all winter holidays. It's about being kind. Kind to others and kind to yourself. So please, be kind to friends, family, co-workers, strangers, and to yourself. My name is Lexis Amelia Davolo. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and have a safe and happy new year. Hey you guys, Captain McAdam here. And yeah, it's true. I'm going on break for a couple of weeks. So you'll see me back next year, or at least you'll see Lexus next year. So in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed today's announcements. If you did, hit that like button. Want to hear more? Want to see videos of book reviews? Or if you like seeing art being live streamed, then hit that subscribe button. Want to be informed when these come out or when I do my live streams? Then hit that bell and make a ring because school is in session. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and do have a safe and happy new year. See you next year, students.